What's up, vapers? Thanks for checking out Daily Vape TV. My name is Nick, and it's Fresh Build Friday. That's right, it's that time of the week again where we get you ready for the weekend with a brand new coil build. All right, guys, so I've got a pretty simple build for you guys today. It's just going to involve standard round wire. We've got this Anarchist 21 gauge Nichrome 80 that we're going to be using, and this is going to be somewhat of a cloud comp sort of build. So for all of you out there that love your big clouds, you're going to absolutely love this build. This one is super simple, so everyone should be able to follow along with it. No problem whatsoever. However, I must have a word of warning on this video here. This is going to be very low resistance and should only be used in short bursts. You should really not use this one all day long. Probably going to be around the 0.08, 0.1 area, so just be aware of that. Personally, I'm using Sony VTC5As, and I really trust those batteries 100%. But with that, just make sure you're using the proper battery for this one, and just be careful out there, guys. I don't want anyone getting hurt. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get started with this one, guys. Grab your mod, your wick, your addy, your wire, your juice, all that good stuff. Let's go down to the close-up view and build it up. All right, guys, so here's the stuff that we're going to need for today's video. We've got our wire that we're going to be using today, which is Anarchist Nichrome 80 21 gauge. This stuff is absolutely massive, and that's what we're going to be wrapping with today. We've got the Coilmaster Mini DIY V2 kit, as you can see here. And then we have our spare pair of clippers because the ones that come in this kit probably can't handle the 21 gauge. So I'm going to use the heavy duty ones today. Then we have the Geek Vape Tab Pro, which we're going to be building on top of. And the device that we're using is this Purge Mech Mod here, the little twisted single 18650 with the Carnage RDA. Nice little matchy matchy setup here. This thing is absolutely gorgeous, so I can't wait to have this one built up. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to need to do is get ourselves some of this wire out of the package here. So let's just go ahead and do that. Let's find the end. There we go. Only need about probably six to seven inches, I'd say. Probably less than that, but you know what? Better to be safe than sorry and get a little bit more wire. Eh, I tend to waste wire and cotton and all that, but you know what? Like I say, it's, it's better to waste a little bit than not have enough at the end of your coil. You end up with four wraps instead of five or something. That is never fun. So, so let's go ahead and get started here. I almost forgot to mention I will be using the Coil Master wrapping tool as well, just because this stuff is crazy thick and we're going to need some help wrapping these coils. So we're employing the help of the Coil Master tool. So let's just go ahead and get started with this one here. Let's just slide the wire right through there. And beauty of this build here is it's so darn simple. All you have to do is just wrap your coil one, two, three, four, five. Simple as that. Love it. Gotta love those old school simple little builds. And if you're wrapping by hand, it's not very difficult either. Um, I'm just going to straighten these leads out real quick with some pliers. So you might want to grab yourself a pair of pliers as well. Not much help with this little mini DIY V2 kit today. Uh, we're probably going to use a few of those tools a little bit later on. But for now, we've got the little extras that I had just kicking around in my collection. So let's go ahead and get our RDA in here real quick. Screw it on top of the ohm reader. And this one's going to be a low one, guys. So this is for all you cloud chasers out there. People that love those super duper low resistance builds that get massive clouds. This is definitely a cloud build. I'm going to call it the Dwayne build because he is like a total cloud bro. Although uh, I feel like he probably uses his rage more often than anything else right about now, considering it just got launched. So as you can see here, the posts are pretty darn far apart. So what we're going to do to kind of combat this. First of all, I'm going to clip this coil off of here. Boop, just like that. And once we have our leads straightened out a little bit here, we're going to actually do our 90 degree bends as we typically do. And I'm actually going to be doing them on both sides. So 90 degree bend here, leave a little gap and then do another one back. And we haven't done these in a very long time, but you know what? You never really lose that sort of, uh, that sort of technique, that focus. So we're going to do it again right there and bend it back. And that's pretty much it. We have one of these coils all set to go. And as you can see now, 
it is nice and perfectly aligned with those two posts. Hopefully, here, I'll give you guys a better, better look at that here. And just bring it in. So as you can see, the posts like that, now the coil lines up beautifully with those posts instead of being right there in the middle and having to bend those leads out really, really far. So now that we have our coils all set, let's just go ahead and pop these bad boys in there. And let's just get our RDA nice and centered here. And this should be a pretty easy painless process here. Just kind of slot it in like that. And we're going to do the pretty typical thing where we bend our leads out a little bit like that and like that. So it doesn't really have anywhere to go. And then on this side, we do basically the same thing. Doop -a doop do Pretty easy stuff here, guys. Gotta love a simple little cloud build. And there's no shame in building with, with round wire just because... You know, everyone else is doing these crazy fuse claptons and, you know, crazy frame staples and all that other stuff. Doesn't mean you have to. You could do a standard round, round wire build and be proud of it. But you know what? I will say for cloud and, you know, vapor production, the simple little round wire builds work really well. I know people will probably argue with me down there in the comments, but you know what? Just build to your particular preference and skill level and don't let anyone tell you otherwise because it's it's all really just your opinion you know so if you like a, a standard round wire build then just go with it there's no right or wrong way as long as you're doing it and uh, you know you're not hurting anyone else so we're just going to clip our leads here you can kind of straighten these ones back out a little bit before you clip them if you want makes things a little bit easier and this one looks like, I mean, there's not really going to be much work to be done after this. Just basically tuning up those coils, making sure everything's firing correctly. And then we should be off and ready to wick it. So there we go. That's basically progress report time there. As you can see, we're looking pretty good. So let's go ahead and check out the resistance. Whoa, 0.06. Man, I hope that jumps up a little bit. Honestly, 0.08 would not be out of the question for this one in particular. I am using Sony VTC5As, which have a fairly high amp rating, so that should be fine. Uh, but, you know, as always, proceed with caution. Just little pulses. You don't want to go too crazy with it at first. Just basically warm up those coils and get squeezing, and uh, you should be good to go. And it takes quite a bit for this little ohm reader to get these coils powered, so they're basically just going to be warm. I mean, I'm feeling a little bit of heat right above the coil there, but it's not that bad. And we're hitting the overtime warning every single time we pulse these, so hopefully we can get it all worked out just by kind of pinching on those a little bit. I kind of want to see that resistance jump up a little bit. Starting to get a little concerned. I might have to put it on a different mod though, just to check it again, because sometimes these ohm readers are not that accurate. So we'll check it on a different device before we really do anything too crazy. And I'll, as always, double check your screws. Or triple check for that matter. There we go, see, 0.08. That's pretty much what I was shooting for. Yeah, it is really low resistance, guys, so just be super careful and make sure you're using the correct batteries here. And, uh, you know, I mean, I don't have to say that I have it in the description of all these videos now, but this is for illustrative purposes only. Do not use this on a regular basis. If you're entering a cloud competition, then this build would be wonderful. However, if you're not, then I would not recommend this for an everyday sort of build. This is literally just a comp style kind of build where you're just using it a couple of times, taking your battery out and letting it cool off, which is what a lot of people do when they're entering cloud competitions. All right, guys, I'll give you a quick little glow shot here for these coils just so you can see they're lighting up nice and evenly very slow ramp up time on this ohm reader though there we go nice little glowing coils there everything looks good to me so let's go ahead and wick it
All right, guys, so the wicking process was pretty standard here. Basically, just get your cotton as tight as possible inside those coils, fluff it up a little bit, and tuck it down into the juice well. And I saturated it today with some Riot Squad e-liquid. This one is called Iron Brews, and it's a kind of a citrusy menthol, and it's kind of interesting. So let's go ahead and check out some vapor production real quick. Those are definitely some feisty coils. Let's go ahead and do that again. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I can't wait to have a vape on this thing. Let's go back to the main screen, have a quick vape on it, and we'll talk about it some more. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the build. Now let's talk about the coils that we just put in this Carnage RDA here. And I'm not gonna go into as extreme detail as I used to with these Fresh Build Friday videos. Basically just tell you how the vaping experience is as a whole. Uh, and starting off with the build, I would say the build is very, very easy. I mean, it's one of those ones that anyone can do. You just pick up some wire, wrap it around a three millimeter bit, and you're good to go. I mean, that's as simple as it gets there. But a word of caution with this one here, again, I must stress the safety factor. You really got to be doing this one only for cloud competitions and not all day long. It puts a lot of stress on your batteries and you should only take a few rips on this one before you just set your mod down and let it cool off for a little bit because it does get quite warm. Even now, just a couple of rips on this thing and the mod has a little bit more warmth than just room temperature. So as far as that goes, make sure you're using the right battery for the job with this one here. I'm using Sony VTC 5As, but make sure you consult Battery Moochie's page for more information and all that that good stuff there. Next, as far as the vapor production, it is extremely good on here. Honestly, I could see myself closing this one off in the airflow department a little bit, probably about 75% here. And uh, let's just go ahead and have another rip and see how this is. The vapor production is excellent on this build, I gotta say. Nice, thick, dense vapor clouds, very in-your-mouth sort of intense flavor, and overall a nice airy draw, which is really nice. Um, you get the, that airflow going underneath the coil and underneath the deck, and it just kind of makes that swooshy sort of airflow, as Nick Grim Green would say. But uh, yeah, it's a really good vape, and I could definitely see myself competing with this one here because you get that thickness of the cloud. You really just can't even see through it uh, when you're doing a cloud competition and that's what the judges are looking for. So all you cloud compers out there, definitely give this build a shot. And last, as far as the flavor goes, I'm not gonna lie, the flavor on this build is actually really, really good. I love the flavor that you get with Nichrome. I get a nice, clean taste to it, and the juice is definitely helping as well. This is Riot Squad E-Liquid Iron Brews flavor, and it's a orange sort of sherbet kind of thing. I mean, I'm sure it's a different thing over there in the UK, which is where this stuff is from. You can't really get this stuff in the States, except I think they're on their way to the states so keep an eye out for riot squad e-liquid it's really good stuff but it's kind of a, an orange sherbet flavor or an orange drink sort of flavor not so much a, a natural orange it's definitely artificial maybe an orange candy if you will but it does have a nice kick of menthol in there as well so you get that cool throat feeling as you're vaping on it but it's not that sort of freeze your throat sort of menthol it's just a nice light little touch So for those of you that have been following me on my various other social media platforms, you know that I've gotten a community strike from YouTube, so therefore, I only have two left before my channel could be shut down completely, and with that, I could be pretty much done with vaping on YouTube. Don't panic, guys. I'm not done. I'm going to be dual uploading on YouTube as well as Vimeo, so now I have my videos on two different platforms, and therefore, if anything happens to my YouTube channel, you can always check me out over there on Vimeo. I'm not going to be linking it in the description below because that actually violates the terms of conditions on YouTube. So if you want to check that page out, then you're going to have to check it out on my various other social medias. Those are all linked right down there in the description below, and you can find the link to my Vimeo there. So that about does it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more videos just like this. Don't forget to click that notification bell right next to the subscribe button if you want to be alerted whenever I upload videos. Also, leave me some comments in the box below. I'd love to hear your thoughts about this build or anything else you guys want to discuss. And also check out the advocacy and my social media links right down there in the description below. Yeah, Yes, vaping might be done on YouTube. However, there's always a plan, so don't you guys worry about that. Fresh Build Friday will always live on. So thank you guys so much for tuning in, and as always, vape on.